uh, very good morning friends today we are going to see a problem related to composite slab and uh, the problem statement is a wall of industrial oven consists of three different materials as shown in the figure here the figure is shown this wall consists of three different material material number one this is the second material and this is the third material the first layer is composed of 5 cm of insulating cement with a clay binder that has a thermal conductivity of 0.08 watt per meter kelvin so the thermal conductivity of this material is given that is k equals to or we can say k1 equals to 0.08 watt per meter kelvin the second layer is made from 15 cm of 6 ply asbestos board with a thermal conductivity of 0.074 watt per meter kelvin so this is our second material that is made up of 6 ply asbestos board with a thermal conductivity of 0.074 watt per meter kelvin this is our k2 the exterior consists of 10 cm common brick with a thermal conductivity of 0.72 watt per meter kelvin so k3 is given as 0.72 this is our material number 3 length is 10 cm the inside wall temperature of the oven is 200 degree celsius so inside this is our oven so inside temperature so temperature at this location that is t surface or we can say t1 if this is going to be our node number one so t surface or t1 is equals to 200 degree centigrade the outside air is 30 degree celsius with convection coefficient of 40 watt per meter square kelvin so this is our outside air its temperature is 30 degree celsius and convective coefficient convection heat transfer coefficient small h is equals to 40 watt per meter square kelvin so this is the given data for this problem i hope the problem is clear uh, to summarize i will say this is a woven inside temperature or this inside wall temperature is 200 degree celsius it is made up of three different materials material number one of length five centimeter material number 2 of length 15 cm material number 3 having a span of 10 cm their respective uh, thermal conductivities k1 k2 and k3 is given here and the outside fluid temperature is 30 degree celsius and heat transfer convection heat transfer coefficient is 40 watt per meter square kelvin now we will form the finite element formulation we will deal this with a uh, as a one dimensional problem so we will consider here three elements this is our element number one element number two and element number three so three elements four nodes node number one node number two node number three and node number four since here we have four nodes so the order of the matrix the order of global stiffness matrix will be 4 by 4 is that clear to all of you now we will see we will start with calculating the conductance matrix k1 so the conductance matrix for element number one this one superscript is denoting that we are calculating this conductance matrix for element number one the formula for this is small k a upon l 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 where k is the thermal conductivity of element number 1 area is your cross sectional area since this is one dimensional problem so we are considering we will consider a equals to 1 l is length or the span of that material or we can say l1 now we will put all those values k is 0.08 l1 is 0. 0 0.05 so we will get the final conductance matrix as this
F1. F1 is our heat load vector which is given for this case 0, 0 since we don't have any convection at node number 1. This is conductance matrix for element number 2. Formula will remain the same. We will put the values. K will change. K will change for material number 2. K2 is this much. L2 is this much. And we will get the value of thermal conductance of second material. This is thermal heat load vector. This is our conductance matrix for the third element. Here K3 A L3 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 plus 0 0 0 H A. Here this is the term due to your convection. We are adding H into A at node number 4 for element number 3. So we will get the value for our conductivity or stiffness matrix we can say as this much. Finally we solve it to get this value. Don't forget to mention the units for all the cases. This is our heat load vector for element number 3. Here you can see one term is added HATF. This is due to convection HA into TF. TF is fluid temperature that is coming to the last node of last element that is element number 3. So this the value we are getting is 1200. Now we will combine this K1, K2 and K3 to get a global stiffness matrix for this. So from here we can see this 1.6 minus 1.6 minus 1.6 and 1.6. This is your K1 value. Similarly, I will make the color as green. Uh, 0 0.493 minus 0 0.493 minus 0 0.493 and positive 0 0.493. This is for your element number 2. Now again I am changing the color. Uh, for element number 3, this is 7.2 minus 7.2 minus 7.2 and 47.2 this is coming from your from your third third matrix that is k3 k2 and k1 this is your global heat load factor the only last parameter we are getting hatf that we are getting 1200 Here we are getting 1200. Now we will apply the boundary condition. To apply the boundary condition, we have to make these three terms at zero. Now the question must be coming to your mind why we are making these three terms at zero. Since the condition is given T1 or the surface inside oven surface temperature T1 is given as 200 degrees Celsius. When we will do the matrix multiplication, as we know, it goes like T1, 1 into T1, 0 into T2, 0 into T3, 0 into T4 equals to this 200. So, this will satisfy T1 equals to 200 degrees Celsius. So, to make this as T1 equals to 200 degrees Celsius, we are making these three terms as 0 and the first term as 1. Rest all other terms will remain the same. After solving this, you can see that we will get three equations from this one, this one and this one. When you will do the multiplication, minus 1.6 into T1, 2.093 into T2, minus 0 0.493 into T3, 0 into T4 equals to 0. So this is our equation number 1. Coming to the next equation, equation number 2, 0 0.493 into T2 plus 7.693 into T3 minus 7.2 into T4 equals to this term that is 0. 
what that is what I have written here. Now the last equation, these two are zero, so I will start from here. Minus seven point two into t three, forty seven point two into t four equals to twelve hundred. That we will get as equation number three. So these are equation number one, two, and three. Now we have to solve these three equations. We have three unknowns: t two, t three, and t four, and we have to get the answer. These are the three equations: t two, t three, and t four. Now we will solve this, and I will tell you, I will show you a small demonstration on the calculator how to solve this equation. Watch carefully. First, we have to go to the equation mode. We have three unknowns, so we will press the three. Now we have to put the values of coefficient a one equals to two point zero nine three. B one is our negative zero point. Four nine three. C one is our zero, and D one is three twenty. A two minus zero point four nine three. B two seven point six nine three. C three. Negative seven point two. D two is our zero. A three is zero. B three is minus seven point two. C three is forty seven point two. D three is twelve hundred. When you solve it, you will get T two as one sixty two point three. T three we are getting as thirty nine point nine, and T four we are getting as thirty one point five. I hope you all have understand this problem. Thank you.